When it comes to wildlife, we think they're up in the forest and deserts and rivers and lakes far away from us. But really, there's a lot of wildlife that's living amongst us within our cities. Learning how to live with them in those urban environments is quite important. It is a magnificent thing to see animals come to our hospital orphaned or at death's door, see them through the rehabilitation process. Most of the problems that bring them to a facility like Liberty Wildlife is because they're trying so hard to interact in, in human-occupied spaces. And so it feels like our responsibility to me to give them that second chance. The first year that I was at Liberty Wildlife, we took in, I think it was 87 animals. This year, 40 years later, we took in 12,156 animals and have created three other major programs that are part of what we do. If people don't know we're there, and they don't know that rehabilitation is something that happens, and they don't know there is something they can do when they find an orphaned, sick, or injured wild animal, then they don't do anything. But if they know, then they do. Hey, I called earlier. Oh, great. How can I help you? I found this in my front yard. Anywhere people find animals that are wildlife, not pets, uh, Liberty Wildlife is there for them. We'll get them checked out. Our daily care team, they have to learn to deal with the avian species, mammals, reptiles, so the diets are all different, the care is different, and everybody has to be trained on how to care for them properly so that that animal is given everything that it needs so that it can have the best outcome. I have a board certification in avian medicine specifically, and at Liberty Wildlife the majority of the animals that we see are birds coming through, and so my specialty in avian medicine has allowed me to have a really good focus towards the specific species that they see here. When we're having new veterinarians or technicians that are coming in or new volunteers who are wanting to get into the veterinary field, I'm able to help teach them the very specific things about birds in particular. Things to look for on physical examinations, things to look for on x-rays. How do we manage certain problems differently in a bird versus a mammal? The animals that are coming in here are not people's pets. They don't have a steward to care for them for their lifetime. They, you know, don't really have a voice to ask for help. And so when people find them and drop them off here, you know, it's up to us to be that voice for them. When an animal comes in, they're afraid. Sometimes they're so down that you don't know whether this one's going to make it or not, but you watch it progress. And you know, it just seems like there's a will to live. The ones that we can release, that's the number one goal. That's success, that's wow, that's the best. Making sure that an animal is prepared to be released into the wild, there's several factors that go into that. You have to think about the livelihood that that animal would have. So we have to take them through several flights. We're gonna grab the big girl today and check her weight, check her transmitter, make sure it hasn't slipped or anything, okay. and we'll get her in and see that she's ready for release. All right, sounds good. All right. The one hawk that we were focusing on today is a big female, and she had unfortunately been shot. The beautiful thing about her was she's strong, she's big. As far as wing breaks go, it was a good break, so we were very optimistic that her healing would take place. We'll see how strong she flies. She was doing great in the flight cage. We work tightly with Arizona Game and Fish, and they're the ones that put the transmitter on her. The benefit for having these transmitters on the birds and tracking the information there, it helps the biologist and everybody understand the pathways that they take. And really what we're looking at there is to identify those hotspots that are important to particular species, important to multiple species for a migration uh, corridor. We'll want to make sure that we don't, we don't put up infrastructure in those areas. This one's Big Mama. Days like today are probably the most rewarding and one of the main reasons why 
I do what I do. When you see one that comes in that's injured and you're able to see them go through the process of healing and then being released back into the wild, I mean, how great is that? All right, kid. Ha, 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 ha.